Hey, you're inside the coffee cup with the Inglewood City Girls. I am Coffee Mia Moore. I'm Danielle. I'm Camila. And I'm Soul. Woo! Hey! Big up to Soul. It's the coffee cup. I'm in the wrong camera, guys. I was all over there. I know y'all saw it. <laughs> so so um, tell us a little about yourself. Okay, so I'll start off with uh, where, where I'm from. Okay. Okay, so um, I was actually born in Victorville. Okay. Uh, my father, he's from Richmond, Virginia. Okay. okay. He raised me, um, him and my mom raised me for a short period of time, probably mm-hmm. until probably I was about like mm, two years old mm-hmm. in Victorville. Then they moved me down to Hemet, California. Oh. Mm-hmm. And uh, my father raised me then as mm-hmm. a single parent. Him, oh. and, him and my sister... We were the only ones growing up together. Um, And I kind of been all over the place Mm -hmm. in the Inland Empire. I grew up there and went to school there, started Mm -hmm. going to college there, Mm -hmm. um, put myself through college, that kind of thing. But life as a single father, my dad was black, you know, so there was a lot of, uh, you know, trauma and, you know, uh, you know, little dysfunction Mm -hmm. and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of things that I had to go through as a child growing up with a single black father yeah um but yeah I uh eventually moved out to LA when I was you know 21 Mm -hmm. um I was a manager when I moved out to LA for amazon.com okay and um had you know worked myself up to the point where I was comfortable enough to make that move and transition out here Mm -hmm. um the rest of my family like my sister my dad they 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 didn't want to come out here because you know they like their privacy Mm -hmm. and they you know being around a lot of people Mm -hmm. was like a lot and overwhelming mm-hmm. to them so the they decided shock. yeah yeah mm-hmm. and I was like the only one brave enough to come out here mm-hmm. <laughs> by myself so yeah because people from him and think that LA is like a whole nother state mm-hmm. yeah they really do it's like a whole nother <laughs> culture it's it really is like I don't even know how you made it in him it like there's yeah. nothing there that's one of the reasons for me like as I was growing up and just trying to like figure out who I was and what I'm like capable of doing mm-hmm. Him, it was too slow paced for me. Mm. Absolutely, and I felt like I had more to offer mm. right. the world and right. just experience like being more. In the country. Yeah, yeah. It's like the wild, it wild it's west. The like, yeah, there's <laughs> nothing out the there. there. Yeah, nothing out there. Just housing tracks, places to eat, mm-hmm. places to go eat. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, go to the movies. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, be around your family a lot. Parks and walking your dogs. It's very slow paced. Right, you know? and also with it being slow paced, there comes a lot of. Uh, opportunity for trouble you know right. people get into trouble out there because they got nothing but time on their right, hands right. and you know I didn't like that because I was always like focused yeah um I like to like keep my head in the books and learn I love to learn about new things and yeah. stuff so like I would block a lot of that stuff out growing up out there and yeah. that's one of the reasons that attracted me to come out here just mm-hmm. given the opportunity that I was given while I was working mm-hmm. and hustling um I was like you know what why not you know mm-hmm. let's see what what happens and let's see where it goes how do you, you like know? LA I love it. Do you? I love it. You know, I love that, you know, it constantly challenges me and keeps me on my toes. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's very challenging to be in Los Angeles because it's Is expensive. It? It's very expensive, you know. So you got to have multiple, you know, one main. I, like, I, I work in healthcare now. Mm-hmm. I left corporate and I came to healthcare. Mm-hmm. I used to work um, in IMDB.com, mm-hmm. Amazon Studios, mm-hmm. when I was about 23. Three to 25. Mm-hmm. 25 is when I left. I'm 28 now. Mm-hmm. And um, I just pretty much like honed in and took everything that I learned mm-hmm. from working in that company and applied it to my own life. And, you know, I just feel like um, it has taught me everything I needed to know mm-hmm. to do what I'm doing now in the mm-hmm. industry, you know. And I was like, no, this is not it for me. Mm-hmm. I want to continue to challenge myself. I want to continue to figure things out. So when I left corporate, mm-hmm. that was my main nine to five. Mm-hmm. I eventually was able to go out here and make more money and mm-hmm. do other side hustles mm-hmm. and other things of interest that I'm in now. Right. So um, it has taught me a lot. And I feel like if you're around the right people and you're you know, constantly surrounding yourself by positivity, mm-hmm. you'll be okay out here. Yeah, but- I saw your website and or a little of your bio and... Um, you seem to be about positive vibes and positive nature, mental health. What made you go that route? Um, one of the reasons why um, I've always been into that, mm-hmm. um, I feel like younger, like I was explaining to you guys, like my childhood kind of, uh, it, it wasn't, it was like that. I know my parents cared about mm-hmm. me, but 
in a sense, they were both clocked out, mm. if that makes sense. That makes okay. all the sense in the world. They yes. weren't really engaged. I didn't really have supportive parents. They mm-hmm. said they love me, but, you know, sometimes them showing it mm-hmm. is like, do you love me or mm-hmm. what? So I was constantly like, you know, questioning myself, constantly second guessing my worth as mm-hmm. a child. Wow. Um, I would look into the mirror and be like, am I pretty or am I beautiful? Mm-hmm. I didn't really know I was beautiful until I would say the age of like 23. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and that's real. Found out then. Yeah. And I'm still searching. That's why I, I, I'm really, <laughs> oh yeah, you know, and, and I feel like it's a constant thing, you mm-hmm. know, when, when you're an adult, it just doesn't stop there. But we're, it's true. You know, we're constantly learning about ourselves. We're constantly growing. Yeah. We're constantly trying to figure out what we love to do, who we are as yeah. individuals, mm-hmm. the layers within us, what makes us tick, what makes us go off, mm-hmm. what makes us, you know, smile, what makes us happy, mm-hmm. why we acted a certain way, right. you know? And, and that's like li- a lifelong thing, right. you know? And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go into the deep matters of with my podcast, yeah. like mental health and things like yes. that, because... When I was younger, no one took the time to do that with me. Right. Yeah. Hmm. And what do you find most when it comes to women, uh, most things that break us are that we have to dig, uh, crawl out of that hole, you know, like um, father abuse, men abuse, mother abuse. What do you find more often has us in um, a mental abused state? Um, I would say that, that, um, that, that acceptance with that. And mm-hmm. it starts with that. The mm-hmm. people who birthed you, the people who raised you. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like, you know, a lot of things that happened, mm-hmm. and it, for example, with my parents, you know, kind of hurt me mm-hmm. back then. It doesn't hurt me now because I grew and, mm-hmm. and got over it. Mm-hmm. But as us as women, we want our fathers and our moms to be proud of us. We want mm-hmm. that nourishment and Validation. that engagement mm-hmm. from our moms mm-hmm. and dads. And when we don't get that, it's like we seek that later in right. relationships and stuff gets toxic. Mm-hmm. And we wonder why, mm-hmm. you know, we're searching for love in all the wrong places right. because we never had that when we were younger with our parents. Right. You know? They didn't really show that or were well-rounded. In a right. Sense. They kept the roof over our head. Right. But that was about it. Right. You know, and it's like, I kind of feel like even when it comes to men, like, you know, men come from women, mm-hmm. birthed from a womb. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of men out here that don't respect women mm-hmm. and don't treat women with respect. And mm-hmm. I could never understand that. Mm-hmm. I could never get that, mm-hmm. you know. And then when you when you look at a man, you're like, hey, you have a daughter coming or you have a daughter. Is that how you want your daughter to be treated? Mm-hmm. Right. The way you're treating, mm-hmm. like, her ba- the baby mom, essentially? Mm-hmm. Like, So I see these things, especially, like, out here for women. And, yeah. like, it's disheartening to see. And, like, I, I used to get really upset about these things, yeah. you know. And I said, you know what? I'm going to turn that energy into something positive. And yes. let's just, like, tell people about certain mm-hmm. mental health matters yes. that we can help people It is heal. disheartening because yeah. a lot of people run around here as functioning um, disabled folks. They don't realize that they're disabled. Mm-hmm. You know, there are so many levels of mental abuse that you have to work your way out of, crawl out of. And I'm really big on mental health protecting my peace. So when I saw your bio, that was most important to me because, you know, I'm a mind, body, and soul type person. I believe in massages. I believe in physical activity as well as meditation. Mm -hmm. So you spoke about love, and I want to touch on that. Is that something, you know, I know it was 23 when you uh, start discovering different things and trying to work on yourself, but is love something that you personally believe in? And I mean love, the, the kind of love that you sit down as a young child and you play with your Barbies, or maybe you can fantasize about. Uh, do you believe in that? Yeah, of course I believe in that. Okay. I believe that, um, you know, it's out there. Mm-hmm. And I just haven't really ran into it yet because I'm like you. I like to protect my peace. And mm-hmm. if I see, like, the first flag of toxicity from somebody or someone coming to me trying to leech off me because they see that I have things going for myself and not really trying to get to know me as mm-hmm. an individual woman that I am, I run from it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Right. Because I've been through too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would rather protect my peace. But mm-hmm. I do know real love exists. I've seen it. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. There's other people out here that are happily married or happily together mm-hmm. and like they respect each other mm-hmm. and like, you know, they hold each other to mm-hmm. the highest degree of, right. you know, and, um, it's just like what they do in front of each other's mm-hmm. faces, they do behind each other's backs. And there's a, a trust right. there. Right. And I've seen that. Mm-hmm. So I know it exists. But um, it, it's really hard, especially with the age group that I'm in nowadays. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. people want everything quick, 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 right, quick, right. quick. And no one wants to take their time. Yeah. And I'm all about, I'm old school. Like, yeah. take your time with me. Get to know me and my right. layers. It's going to take at least a right. year or three right, for right. you to figure that out. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm not in a rush to get with you, you know? Right. So... 
Yeah. Like, so do you think that men are just as scared of us as we are of them? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Are you guys scared of men? Um, I'm, I think most women are afraid to get their heart broke. And I think most women protect their heart. Um, in any form. I don't care if you get it, if you get love from a man here, a heart is so big. You can have 10 kids and love them all with the same heart. So a heart is big and a heart can expand. It's an organ. Your love, you know, you never, you can have one child and you never imagine that you can have that kind of love before. And then you have another child and you can, and it's like, whoa, I can spread this love. Then you can bring in other people's children. Now that love is extended, mm -hmm. maybe a certain way, but your heart is grown. So when it comes to a man, he can never just touch on one layer. You you want you yearn for that layer, then he gets in in that layer, and then you're a human. It's like okay, I didn't realize now that cup is filled, but you got you got to do this now. You got to do that because mm -hmm. you're still discovering yourself. And mm -hmm. I think the same with a man. Men don't trust women because women have put them in those same positions. So it's, I would think all of that would be learning behavior because I think when children get here, we're so innocent. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, it's trauma and things that we go through that we get to a point where we can't trust someone. Mm -hmm. So someone had to expose us to that Absolutely. You know, at a young yeah. age because, you know, some some girls are, they have come from loving families and things like that and then they get exposed to that guy mm -hmm. that don't know how to respect because he didn't come from a loving mm -hmm. family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so it's a good thing that we all should be conscious about mental health and doing our work before we get involved in relationships mm -hmm. yes. because it, you never know what you can be doing to hurt someone else's journey. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Self-love is a, is a big thing. I always say before you can love someone else, you have to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women don't think that, mm -hmm. and even men too. Mm -hmm. They feel like, you know, I have a big heart, you know, I could do this, mm -hmm. this, and that. I should love somebody mm -hmm. else, give that to somebody else. Yeah. But then when they don't receive that back, it kind of tarnishes them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it all goes back to love, and love is such a big umbrella. Mm -hmm. What my definition of love is may not be your definition of mm -hmm. love, and your definition mm -hmm. of love, and you can love me, but I'm not. I don't receive that love because that's not what I'm expecting. Yeah, they say mm -hmm. love, love is an action like, word. You know? I think love is a choice. Yes. So that's have a, you ever yes. been in love? No. Uh, no. No. Um, and there's been times where I felt no. like I potentially could be in love. Right. Mm. Right. Um, but then all of a sudden I would be like, oh no. What is in love to you? Soul to soul. I, I literally have seen all of your vulnerable sides. Mm. And I, so I accept you in those vulnerability That's sides so of you, those vulnerable, deep sides you don't, I guess, want to share with other people. Mm -hmm. You decided to open up and share with me, and I'm not the type of person to, to use that against you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your secrets are safe with me for a lifetime. Come on, Leisha. Mm. And if you are brave <laughs> enough <laughs> to expose your true self to mm -hmm. me and grow and, and, and thrive for, for the best self of you within my presence like i admire that mm -hmm. that was an alicia keys line that's why mm -hmm. i said come on alicia i'm a poet your too. secrets yeah, are secret. safe with i'm a poet <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i'm poetic too yeah. so all right let's pause in you she is um still game we play i want to say yes i'm gonna say capricorn but i'm getting <laughs> close to an aquarius but what sign are you I am a cusp, so uh -huh. I'm a Sagittarius, but my Venus is in Scorpio, and I was born on the Scorpio cusp. Okay, so Sag, I was close to Cat. Yeah. Okay. And my sister and my niece are both Capricorns, and okay. I love them to death. Mm -hmm. Love them to death, and they're they're just like that. They yeah. will give their all, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and even if beat down, they'll still give their mm -hmm. all yeah. until they're just like I'm, I'm enough. You know, mm -hmm. and that's how my sister's always been. Mm -hmm. We've been, we're, we're always been good women, which is why we, we choose to be single right now. Because yeah. we're just like, my my plate is full, my table is full, I have a table to bring. Yeah. And it's like, what are you bringing me but distress and dysfunction right. and drama? And mm -hmm. we're not like that. So. Now, you seem <laughs> spiritually cleansed. Yeah, I'm and very pure. I'm very, I'm very into that. <laughs> she sounds very, very pure. I'm so into energy <laughs> that it's ridiculous. Yeah. And I can honestly say there are a few people that I can... um sit next to or come in contact with where I'm like, whoa, they're like a clear palette, mm -hmm. you know? A lot of people, um, and that's not vulnerability. Yeah. It's, it's a difference between, oh, this person is green as grass mm -hmm. or, oh, this person is, is a clean palette. They're, they're mm -hmm. pure. They're, you know, they're cleansed. Do you sage? What are some of the things you do to keep 
this whole energy of yours like pure it's so like I love it well I spend a lot of time by myself mm -hmm. for one and I also do have sage like in my my it's like a little studio loft mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. in Koreatown like 10 minutes from here mm -hmm. and like I sage like I'll burn incense mm -hmm. um, my dad raised me on incense so mm -hmm. like whenever he wanted his piece he'll have like a little like whiskey or something to drink and he'll always burn incense so mm -hmm. I grew up with that mm -hmm. um, and that was something for him to bring him peace so now I get peace by being by myself a lot mm -hmm. um, I play my music mm -hmm. I, I'm a very versatile music like Lena Del Rey to like you know, uh, ice sort of cubes. So, mm -hmm. You know, I'm very versatile. It's for the move. Music is yeah. spiritual, regardless <laughs> of what people say. Oh, that's the world. Music, no, yeah. it's not. Mm -hmm. It's very healing, especially when you meditate. Yeah. So you giving me all the life I need because I don't really meet too many people that do, or I do rituals like that. Yeah. You know, candle lighting, silence. Yes, that's me. Complete silence. I, I prefer to just be early morning wake ups. Yep, you know, get my saying? thoughts together Absolutely. for the day. Absolutely, yeah. and it's like my yeah. body goes into this place where it's going to wake up. Like I know I'm gonna lay there, and things are gonna download. Meditation is, you yeah. know. So she calls it the broom. She sweeps her uh, mind is sweeping. I'm I like, said the big broom in the sky. And I said, it woke me up. No, don't <laughs> let me be in that. Because she, honestly, a lot of us are really spiritual connected. I believe. I think that we're all spiritually collect connected. But please don't be on coffees spirituals because she will call it out and i think that's a gift from god mm -hmm. um that he's able to let us know that we're you know we have spiritual gifts mm -hmm. do you think that you have one mm -hmm. yes what's that i feel like i'm very in tune with my ancestors and whoever my ancestors are, are very strong because i feel them every day i used to cry to my ancestors wow. what? i used to cry to them because i'm like whatever you just did i felt that thank you <gasps> Mm -hmm. Shut the front so door. So I'm very spiritually in tune. And, and people are like, what do you believe in? And I'm like, I don't believe in anything, but what you put out is what you get back. Mm -hmm. And then there's been people that used to come to me, and they're like, whatever, whatever it is that you have surrounding mm -hmm. you is very strong and it's protecting you. What, it, what, what does that look like? You know, seeing your answer. I mean, if I see one of them Africans, I'm running. I can't, I can't see them. Um, I can feel them. How does that look like? You know how it looks. She's like that. I I'm at her an house. Ancestor? Yeah. I'm at her house. Yeah. And I'm chilling on the couch. And all of a sudden, I just feel a presence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She must be really surrounded by this because I'm, I'm next to you. I'm connected to you. And I feel the presence. And she's like, yeah, I, it feels like my grandmother. Yeah. Mm. Just there. And my dad used to well, tell me. Well, I guess me, that is considered an ancestor. I'm going back to slavery. Yeah. 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 Okay, you know. My, <laughs> I'm my going dad. to slavery. <laughs> Like it's all come on, cool right? Jeff. Because they, I ain't did nothing to you. They <laughs> went through so much for us to be here. Yeah. Now. And my dad used to tell me, like his grandma, when when his grandma died, mm -hmm. she was looking out for him. Mm -hmm. And so I think that lady is looking out for me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Through him. Someone told me. Um, I don't know. This is like <laughs> deep, but someone told me once. Um, while, you know, pretty much describing an older lady. And they were like, it's your birthday. And she, I've never seen this, but I have to tell you, someone is trying to give you a, a cupcake. And I'm like, lady, I'm, I'm glad it's spiritual because I'm not going to eat that cupcake. Yeah. But that was so deep to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't realize that things are happening around us Um as uh, my director was saying, like, oh, we, we live within a spiritual world. They're all around mm -hmm. us, the spirits, mm -hmm. anyway. So, but I'm just, I so, I'm so amazed by your cleaned spirit, like your energy. Yeah. It's so clean. And I'm really not like gassing you. I appreciate I have, like, that. I you know, can <laughs> feel it. There's a yeah. lot of people that now, especially I think now it's a trend to follow this like spiritual thing. Definitely and the, a trend. And the uh, stones and the crystals mm -hmm. and, and yeah. even the cards, yeah. palm reading. Mm. Do you get involved with any of that stuff except for like say yes? No, ah, that's a good question. I don't. I no. just I just pay attention to the universe. Like I pay attention mm. to the signs. There are people that have came to me from my ancestors saying certain things to me. I'm like, I don't know, it's a random day today. I'm just walking down the street and you came to me with this beautiful message. Yeah. Wow. This is this is happening for a reason. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I pay attention to stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even from like the birds in the sky to how the wind is blowing to the things that are happening around me. Right. It's like I Feel everything. Oh my God! I promise you are a lot like me. I promise yeah. there are things that I hold back 
Um, I was talking about the trees earlier, and mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, oh, oh, I have, you know, I found out that when the uh, when you cut grass and the smell of grass is the trees, the the plant, the grass crying, it's kind of letting the other grass know danger is there, right? Yeah. And now I'm freaked out. I'm like, oh, please don't step on the grass, like, please, <laughs> like you know, they're hurting. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> they are because they give yeah. off this scent. They're like us. Yeah. So it's it's crazy. The wind can blow a certain wind. I'm like, what was that? It, it just hit different. You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's just amazing. Yeah. That um, that you're like that. Too. Yeah. So do you teach? How do you? Yeah. How do you? Because if it's coming in, it has to come out some way. Yeah. So like my podcast, Love Language is my podcast. It's also my S Corporation. Um, I run my online apparel shop and Mm -hmm. accessory shop uh, as well that's connected to it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I felt like one of the gifts that I have is to teach people Mm -hmm. this. Like this is a universal language that I'm speaking. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people used to think that I'm crazy Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for speaking truth. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, I'm going to connect with some of my people that mm-hmm. have crossed paths with me that I've worked with mm-hmm. that I've been around who who understand mm-hmm. right. these types of conversations and we're going to put this on my podcast and we're going to push it out and we're going to see it. what happens okay. and that's pretty much what the message is mm-hmm. through my podcast now yeah. I have a question energy is everything you feel energy yeah so what happens when you feel like a strong energy that's so like desperate and disappointing and it's and it's attacking oh and i've been through situations like this uh, especially uh during quarantine and like a year ago um um a few people have tried to merge lives with me mm-hmm. that had horrible energy mm-hmm. and um they would, you know, attach their self to mm-hmm. me because they were in the dark mm-hmm. and they see a lot of light. Right, there's space yeah. there. Because the Bible talks about that. Not and that you, but... I would try to, you know, educate them and, and talk to them and actually, like, open up and be vulnerable with, to them mm-hmm. about certain things that are acceptable mm-hmm. and certain things that are not acceptable for me. Mm-hmm. Um, create boundaries and try mm-hmm. to create healthy boundaries. Mm-hmm. But these people, of course, sometimes do not listen. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've had to distance myself from these people. Mm. Um and within that bad energy that I felt, I'm like, I'm really happy that I try to help these mm-hmm. people, enlighten mm-hmm. them, but mm-hmm. they, you know, a lot of bad things have happened to these people since. Right. Um, even after crossing paths with me, I tell people, I don't do anything to no one. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to harm you. Mm-hmm. But if you harm me, the second you harm me, something always happens to you. Wow. And I don't you even have to like do her. anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, I thought she I don't sounds. have to do nothing. I have, I have a couple of people in my life that has crossed me. Yeah. Very, very hard. <laughs> and... Um, it, it hurt in the time, and I try to protect myself by saying, I'm not dealing with you anymore. Right. And right. Um, you say universe, but I say God. I feel like God has um, got to the point where he's going to He's gonna fix it. And I knew my heart was pure. And, you know, this year they've come back and said, I feel like I was cursed after I did that. You just said like, <laughs> like, And, and it's yeah. been several people that said the exact same words. I feel like I was cursed. And I'm like, till you do right by me. It went, Where y'all you know? at? Yeah. Y'all better come yeah. back. And I yeah. never want anybody to hurt. I never want anybody to be cursed. But sometimes when your heart is pure, God will protect you. Energy mm-hmm. will protect you. Universe will pe- your ancestors will protect you. And so, um, yeah, cool. I've been through a lot of that. And it's taken a lot growing. And I didn't have to deal with you. That's well, right. where are my people? <laughs> coming back saying I didn't have that. To deal with you. That's you right. was dealt with. I'm the woman yeah. of love. Maybe, maybe God don't deal with my people like that because I want some people to hurt. But no, I don't, I'm just playing. I don't want That's why I said hurt. love right. is a choice I don't. because even though you may right. have something for me, I still want to give you love. And I still want to be like, you know what? I love you through that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you get yourself together, yeah. Because if you love somebody, it's never going to change. Mm. Right. You always can come back here, and it's always going to be a home yep. for you with me. And they're all still cool with me to this day, because yep. I, I move with love. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think never want to for them. Love right? is important. <laughs> I am the woman of love. <laughs> right. That's, okay. That's my name, straight out of love. S-O-L. Yours is straight out of love. I'm so, the woman of love. I'm the cousin yeah. of love. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it, it was such a pleasure. I would yes. love to have, we would love to have you back. Cool. Um, I would love to be back. It, it, there's so many la- levels and layers of this. And it was talking about spirituality is my, that's my passion. Yeah. I love, I love. I want to give you guys. Oh. Hey. Oh, my. Hey. Merch. Yes, merch. Yes, merch. This is some yes. tea, Beautiful coffee cups cup. for y'all. Yes. yes. 
hats for y'all too. This Yay, is my logo. I do pink. It's my logo. Okay. Hey, logo. <laughs> Just showing my appreciation to y'all. Thank you. Love language. Thank this you. is dope. For having this me. is love language. <laughs> yes. So that's everything I represent. Love language, guys. Nice. And I Beautiful. have two free t-shirts here for y'all. Hey. Nice. Oh, hey. Wow. hey. Thank you. So whoever wants, there's a black one and there's oh. a pink one here. Thank you guys so much. Pink. I am looking forward to being back. Okay. We yes, yes, so much more about please. everything. There's so many layers you don't even understand. I can't really have too many of these deep comp topics with people because they'll think you're weird. Yeah. You know, if you see things, if you feel things. They think you're crazy. They think you're weird. So anyway, you guys follow. Where can they yeah. follow you? Um, at S-O-L-B-L-O-O-M underscore. That's Soul Bloom underscore on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Everything you need to know about me is on there. Click the link in my bio. You can see all my work, all the videos I've been in. Um, it's big stuff going on, and I manage myself. So Good deal. feel free to take a look. Mm -hmm. My podcast, my online store, everything is on there. Hey. So. Well, you heard it here on the coffee cup. We had a beautiful, beautiful. interview. Beautiful. With so I love it. That's like soul and love. You're a beautiful person. Thank, Thank you. You're it, literally, like, your energy is breathtaking. Like, I, I'm I just love, sitting I up here just like. Y'all go over here just <laughs> let me say it by myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, guys. It's a wrap. Woo! Thank you.